Hi everybody! Very good! Thank you today! Thank you today! Thank you today! That you really ought to know about A holy book that has the power to remove all fear and doubt And this book tells the story of a man who means the world to me Here I am with Dobo Tuku Rinpoche on his first day skiing Yes, I am. <laughs> He's been improving very well all morning. Yes, I have been here um, uh, since... Uh, what time you came here? Actually? 12 o'clock. Yes, yes, yes. Is that on purpose? I fall maybe three times. <laughs> and yes, Noah and here. And then, oh, it's wonderful. And I'm really enjoying. Just, uh, I think I have to do it a little more. But my boy, he never concerned himself if they treated him like a freak. He just bowed to everybody equally, and these are the words he'd speak. I would never disparage you or keep you at arm's length. And I found when you get nervous, then you fall or you can't go where you want to be. But while you are calm and confident on your balance, and then really you can enjoy it, you know. He never read or recited the scriptures much. He only liked to practice respect. But the monks and nuns of his time, they didn't mean it like you might expect. Instead, they cursed him, and they reviled him, oh, and they wished that he would go. Because they all had self-esteem. How is it? Ready? All right. I'm ready. Are you ready? Hey, guys. Hello. Watch out for the lift behind you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right. Safety, safety first. <laughs> oh, the elevation of this mountain is 12,050, and okay. it actually has one of the highest ski lifts in the U.S. Put you down in any way, because it's clear to me I can claim to see you'll be a Buddha someday. What number did that guy say that the Dalai Lama? Can you tell me that history? I really, I kind of forget. Well, um, I guess in, what year was it? 1982? 1982. The uh, Dalai Lama came to Santa Fe. And, mm. and focus completely on every turn and every breath. Yeah. Clear the mind of everything to be completely attuned to the precise moment, especially, especially if you're going a little fast. <laughs> <laughs>
So Rinpoche, what role does sport play in the Eightfold Path? Uh, you mean in the ski? With the ski? Yes. I think in the, with the ski, uh, mindfulness is very important. Mm -hmm. I found like when you are tense, immediately every situation change and you lose your control, you lose your uh, possibilities cool. and the joy men enjoying during the time. So I think very important is relax and believe and just relax. So just ski like you normally would. Okay. Just be cool, honey bunny. Thank you. Thank you. I went to the, the topest mountain. Really? <laughs> yes. But what I found is it's exactly the same uh, level like my monastery. Oh, in, same oh, elevation. Yeah, same elevation. 200,000 feet. There you are. Yes. So you can think about that. Yeah, I'll try. Um, but I won't say you should. <laughs> but it's up to you. We should read the mountain while you ski. Yes. This is so wonderful phrase to describe uh, the joyful of while you ski. Really, you are kind of uh, reading, you know, like how waves go, yes. where you can turn, all like flexibility. Uh, flexibility? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah.